first president of the World Anti-Doping Agency and remains a senior active member of the IOC. So the longest serving member of the International Olympic Committee, founding president of the World Anti-Doping Agency and a former Olympic athlete himself. In his long career in, in the IOC, he made uh, the world aware this is a fight about the minds of people. I mean, he had to dig the trenches and to move things forward. And he managed to, you know, get who harmonized across all sports and all governments. I don't think people realize the achievement of that in a context where not everybody was really favorable to that idea. Dick Pound is a trailblazer. Dick Pound uh, is the king of sound bites. Dick Pound is great at attracting attention to a specific cause in addition to being an extremely strategic and smart man. And having Dick Pound at the beginning uh, of, of Walla's existence uh, really allowed the agency to be put on the map. I'm Dick Pound. Uh, I live in uh, Westmount, Quebec, and we're in uh, our living room. Sport, as it's, it's actually an important component of, of society on, on many of them. And you know, we're surrounded by Enrons and World.coms and Tycos and all of these things in business. We've got uh, evaporation of standards in, in the professions, in academia, in, uh, in the media, uh, you name it. So it's not surprising that, that there's been a, a failure of governance in sport as well. Each and every one of us is committed to try and improve the human condition to help others derive more health and pleasure from their own lives and to make them more effective and better contributors to their societies. Those of us who've been fortunate enough to have been athletes know of the joy that comes from effort and we've all grown in many respects from those experiences. Those of us who've participated in sport and physical activity without necessarily involvement in high performance sport and competition understand the personal fulfillment which comes from robust health and the level of energy and enthusiasm which flows from them into everything else that we do. I've been very, very lucky to have had my involvement with WADA and I wouldn't have changed that uh, uh, for the world. You know, I, I, I ran to be president of the IOC in, back in 2001 and got a bronze medal, but uh, being able to do this work with WADA is, is actually, in, in many respects, more fulfilling than it, it, it would have been uh, to be the IOC president. So, to, to do something and, and to leave the world, the sport world, the anti-doping world, a little better off than when you got there, it's good for all of the people involved in sport, all the young people who hope to realize their dreams without being cheated out of them. I mean, when I was in, in 1960, it, it, there were no rules at that point. There was no anti-doping code, there was no, no nothing. Sport uh, always begins as play, but distortions occur once money, national hubris, and personal status become involved. With the rules comes a question of trust. We have expectations of each other, that we play in accordance with the rules that we agreed upon as part of our participation, including rules prohibiting drug use. I think in sports, uh, the, uh, the, the crucible in which all great performances are generated is that relationship between the, the coach and the, and the athlete. So in Ocean Falls, when I started swimming, we had a, a coach who was fantastic. It didn't matter. He came from this dinky little town. It was what you brought to the party. Because we can only be successful, only, if every stakeholder is committed to doping-free sport. If there's anybody holding back, or if there's anybody who's just talking and doesn't want to do anything, this is not going to be successful. So what the future will bring really depends on us. 206 countries, 206 national Olympic committees, all with different rules, if any. We, we built up an anti-doping code, and we went through the code, basically article by article, because we needed consensus. Here's the world anti-doping code that we put together. We think it's a pretty good idea. Why don't you have a look at it and see whether it's something you might not want to do. I crossed my fingers and I said, 
Is there anyone in this room who does not agree that we go ahead with this code? Nobody blinked. So I said, great. Thank you very much. That's unanimous. And you, you had the sense that we were making progress at a speed almost unheard of in international relationships, to the point where I think everyone understands the, uh, the need for it. If it's wrong, it's wrong, even if everybody's doing it. And if it's right, it's right, even if nobody's doing it. You want to end up being proud of what you've done and, 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 and being able to look in the mirror and say, well, win, lose, or draw, I did it the right way, I did my best, uh, and I didn't cheat.